Hi guys, uh, in today's video, we are going to start a new tutorial which is on the chatbot and one of the framework which we are using is Dialogflow ES. Okay. Uh, before moving, uh, this is one of the Gartner article which published in the August month and where it indicates that uh, all the major companies or the industries, right, from each uh, verticals, right, they are pushing towards the conversational AI uh, and there is a big cost saving factor which is involved and over here it is mentioned around 80 billion which will be saved by the industry if they move to the conversational AI. If you want to read the whole article, I have given the link into the comment section. So do go over there and check it out. Um, so about the chatbot before moving into Dialogflow ES, right? So what are the chatbots we have in the market uh, which are heavily used? Uh, there are many more, uh, I'm sure. But uh, these are the framework which uh, I usually worked on, uh, at least for the top five. Uh, or even guess in, say, you can say top four, uh, fifth one I have stopped using because uh, based on the requirement from the client side, okay. So Dialogflow ES and CX uh, both are from the Google side, okay. ES is a essential sol solution or services and CX is the communication platform or something like that. They have created for basically for the uh, contact center side, right. Then we have Microsoft Bot Framework uh, version 3 and 4. I think they have now launched something called Composer. Uh, and they are, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, deprecating the code based uh, bot framework, right? Then we have Amazon AWS Lex. Few of this topic was already covered in Amazon Connect section, but largely we will go with the Amazon AWS Lex videos also. Uh, then we have open source Rasa, where if you don't want to pay for the cloud NLPs and all these bot frameworks, right? Then the Rasa is one of the options uh, for the chatbot solution. Then we have IBM Watson, Oracle Bot, and obviously there are many more are available in the market. Uh, something like Core IA is there, Yellow is there, and all those things, right? Okay, so this time uh, I was giving a thought about how to give the tutorial for the dialog flow or for the other chatbot framework, right? So or usually the call flows, or if I create a call flow and develop a bot, which will be not that useful because uh, the questions or the uh, part where we get stuck, right? Uh, is a little bit more complicated, right? Rather than the simple flow that we create like intent and capturing the intent and entities, right? So I will do something like, I will cover the topic for each and every board framework, like Dialogflow ES. These are things that you must aware of. And then what we will do, we will go to something called, what are their own primary use cases and complexities and what are their channels and what are the uh, best features they have. And obviously all this will be the code based and all the code will be available in the GitHub section, which is also mentioned in the comment section. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover how to access intense entities and then there is a fulfillment inline node.js site we will use. Uh, there are other SDKs are also available uh, which you can use like Java Python or any other thing. Then we will use external webhook like instead of using the inline, let's say if you want to deploy your fulfillment in some other cloud platform, let's say AWS or uh, uh, what is that Microsoft or even Heroku, right? Or any other one, right? Oracle, Red Hat, whatever the platforms, then you can use this code. Uh, how to integrate with the APIs like the web service call and all those things. How to handle the context uh, between the intents. Uh, how to use the rich, me rich messages. Uh, how to show like a list. Uh, how can you show the buttons? How can you show the um, suggestion chips and all those things. Then we will see what are the channels available and how we can integrate with the channel integration. I will do for the web or the few and not more than that. Uh, how to use with the knowledge base integration, like how if you upload a PDF or what document, right? Uh, your Dialogflow bot can read and create a knowledge base. And then if you ask a question which is related to the questions which is mentioned in that PDF, then it will detect that and give you the appropriate answer. Um, 
from the coding or for you say example sites right uh, these are just a few list uh, do put in the comment section like the doubts or the queries or the code examples that you required uh, we will cover those thing or keep adding on to this one uh, to this list okay uh, there is something called simple and dynamic flow uh, like uh, sequence flow to dynamic flow that we will cover how to capture the multiple entities complex entities and all those thing uh, where the number of complex entities can go up to four to five and those thing thing uh, web page integration so we already know that uh, there's a bot it has chat bot it has to be accessed from the web page right how to do that there is a simple way which is already provided by dialog flow and how we can create our own so that we will check uh, then how to store the conversation into database basically for reporting purpose this come into the picture how to capture the alphanumeric custom entities and all those things right these are anyway part of the uh, entities uh, but uh, we will see how we can improve or what are the best approach which is available example like google assistant and proactive messaging so google assistant you might be thinking what is google assistant coming to the picture so if you develop a bot in dialog flow es let me show you and uh, let me close this so this is one of the bot which i created okay and if i click to this one uh, so what it happens is is goes to the uh, google dialog flow action server. okay getting the test version of app ryu hi welcome to ryu singapore airline krish new way of shopping experience please select any of the below option to start the journey so if you see over here right uh it uh like you can deploy your bot to dialog a uh, google assistant which is only possible through dialog flow es action console right uh, and uh, this is one of the bot which I created long time back where uh, it is for Singapore airline competition, I think 2016 or 17, something like that, where we are just giving like how Singapore airline can use. Maybe it is not working. I'm not sure. It's been long time I have used. But you can see, right, uh, if user says to their uh, tablet or to Android Here are phone, details of approximate wait time. So the code is still working, which is surprising. Uh, what I was saying, yeah. So you can have a, like, a, a, what do you say, custom UI type uh, uh, solution through dialog flow. And if the uh, device support uh, uh, visual, like the Android phone or like Google Home, all this thing, then you can use Google Assistant and invoke your bot or app right so that is what so for the question or for a part of an intro to cover something right uh, i will cover how to access the dialog flow okay this is for those who are completely new to this one so there you have to type something called dialog flow dot cloud dot google dot com okay and once you click that uh, it will give you a uh, page which is it not giving okay now it has given and then you can select any of this let me go to the bot which i just displayed you krish and it will display all the intents and the entities and all those things that you can use but anyway that is for the later case um so yeah this is the start of the tutorial for dialog flow uh if you have any queries or suggestions for the uh, demos or the example to be used put into the comment sections those will be definitely will be covered uh, in our tutorial sections thank you have a nice day